This is called The Tide. Setting the scene of the foggy play, back in eighth grade during the school day, when that bitch came up and talked shit. But what she said, I can't remember for the life of me. Here, setting another scene. This one not as obscene, and yet more memorable, of that time when we struggled together and conquered the mountain. Staring from the top, you offering me wisdom, and me ignoring you for a bird. There are some things in my mind, I know every detail. I remember what you were wearing that day. I remember I felt sick and didn't want to go. I remember that you used to have this habit of getting us lost, but always leading us back to safety. I wish I could remember more. My mind has clouded up some of the minor details, and slowly it feels like most of you is being purged from my mind, and I don't even notice until it's too late, and I want to stop it. I want to select things to forget, like that day in eighth grade with its now meaningless words, or how much of a jerk I was to you. I forgot. I forgot your voice. I'm told it sounded like me, but for the life of me, I can't remember how. I've forgotten your face. I keep getting told over and over that it looks like mine, but each time they say so, the stronger I deny it, simply because as each wave of each day passes by, more and more gets washed away until that part was lost to me forever. I use photos like fake limbs, trying to remember what it was like to have you, and even though it has been less than a decade, I seem to have forgotten what it was like. Recordings. Like my memories have been washed away and forgotten until they could not be recovered, and I wish it wasn't so. I feel empty without you, yet it seems I have already forgotten you, and if you stood in front of me today, I doubt I would recognize you, and that pains me. It pains me that everything that happened between us could have made you hate me more and more, yet I cannot go a day without thinking about losing you, and the old wound that never healed gets reopened after a few fresh scrapes, and I look at it and think about how much of a scar it's going to leave when it heals, but it never gets a chance to close up. I wonder if that wound would ever heal, and time doesn't seem to be telling me. Time never told me about having to maneuver a conversation so I could hide you. Time never told me about having the memory of losing you wash over me and leave me crying in the middle of the night because that was the only way to let the pain out. Time never told me about noticing every time when you were brought up and reminding me why I can't talk about it. I wonder if there was a way to tell if I'm stronger because of you. I wonder if it would tell me I was weak for giving into some things I should have stayed out of or if I was stronger because I keep trying to fix myself. I would give anything not to have to ask those questions. To have the pit of despair I have called home since the day you left me disappear, and not having the gratitude of any of the people who needed me to no longer be something I thought about. I wish I didn't have to hide just how badly I took things, and the dark thoughts that crept up never had a chance to get through the light. I wish I didn't have to cover that old wound in bandages, pretending that it healed long ago and that it never happened. But I know that no one can change the past past that most of the time feels like a dream and I have to remind myself that it happened. No one can change the weight that has come crushing down around me as I have to hit open the wound to remind myself that that something was real. The tidal wave of time erodes my mind and it seems like everything you stood for will one day be washed away with the tide and no amount of tattoos or pictures or recordings can bring you back to me. And I'm running out of ways to fight nature and keep us on the beach as we gazed out from the top of that mountain together and stood victorious. I feel like I'm expected to learn something from this. I feel like I'm supposed to have gained some sort of insight from you, even as the water has long ago washed you away from me forever, and I'm just staring at birds pretending not to notice. Did you tell me how then? Is that what it was? I wish I had paid attention, because now when people pepper me with questions, and I have a lack of answers, I have nothing to say, no reason on why I cannot decide if I'm stronger or not. Can't decide if you placed the bar in front of me and I flatlined in front, unable to make it over, and my moment of glory fading fast as I realized too late that it should have been easier to hold on to you, to hold on to myself. I feel like I failed. The bar might have been too high, or I was just never going to make it over anyways. I have no idea which one to pick. So I just sit here, day after day, watching the birds, listening to their sweet songs, and hoping one day that a part of what I've lost will wash up on that water. Thank you.